Welcome back to another Scribus tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a non-rectangle or square text frame. So maybe we want to have a different shape that our text is uh, goes within. Um, and this actually, you'll use this sometimes. So uh, up until now, we've just done a text frame like this, just a regular text frame. So we put some text in here, and it just looks like this. Um, and kind of the only thing we've maybe done a little bit is learn how to rotate so we can rotate the text and that kind of creates I guess like a diamond instead of a rectangle sort of But what we really can do we can actually edit this entire shape and to do that um, We go to the shape set um, part of the properties and we click on edit and that brings up these four points right now that we have and There's all these different options. So we hover over and we can we're on the move node right now we can also come here and we can add a node. We can get rid of a node. So if I just want to move a node, I can click and we can move one of these nodes. And wherever we, however we make this shape, the text will kind of stay in that shape. Maybe we want to do an hourglass. So we bring this down here. So we click on the add nodes and we can add a node here and we can add a node here. Then we go back to our move node tool and we can move these nodes kind of into the middle. So maybe we had like we want to have a cool quote here with like an hourglass with a poem or something. So that's a way we could do it. We could have different images and backgrounds and textures. Um, another cool thing we can do. Let's hit cancel on that. I'm going to delete this text. If we we can draw something like we can draw a polygon here, and we can come over to uh, the properties of this and let's turn this into a star. And now we can actually if we if we right click and go to get text, we, we can't get any because this is just a shape. It's not a text frame. But we can convert it into a text frame by selecting it. And then we go to, uh, what part is it? Is it insert? Ah, we click on item. And then we go down to uh, convert to. And then we can say convert to text frame. Pretty cool, huh? So now this is a text frame. And now we can right click and go get text. Uh, or, or we can right click and go sample text or we could bring in our own text We can put some sample text in here and it just fills on the inside of this star So that's how we can do that and we can do the same thing with any any type of shape We want to draw and then we can go in and re-edit this too or if we double click now It's gonna be like a text field so to change the shape of it We'll come over to our properties and go to shape and go to edit and then we can move these different nodes around Pretty cool, huh? So that is uh, how we would create our own custom <coughs> uh, text text frames from either drawing shapes and converting them. We go to item, convert to, and then text frame, <coughs> or from just uh, from just editing our text box altogether. So and that one again was if we hit escape, we just draw a text frame, and then we go to edit, and then we just can just add in different nodes and shape it that way. So there's two different methods that you can create a nice, uh, nice place for text to flow within, a frame for text to flow within. Appreciate you watching this video. Uh, I really hope you found it informative, and I will catch you on the next video.